This is Mary Rush Gravel coming to you from the beautiful Sedona, Arizona. I wanted to do a session today on intention setting for the new moon. Today is the new moon in November. It's a Sagittarius new moon, which is all about freedom and expansion and learning. And we also have Thanksgiving coming up next week. So I want to talk to you about intention, setting an intention statement in the context of all of those. Why the new moon, in case you don't realize, the new moon is a time of complete darkness in the sky. You can think about it as as a state of possibly being in the void okay a void in terms of creativity where all things are possible there's nothing blocking your way right at this time of the month with the new moon there's no shadows no light nothing we're completely with a new slate so you know usually you think of a blank canvas as being white but this canvas is black so it's the state of pure potentiality, pure possibility. So grab a sheet of paper and a pen or your computer and let's start. For this next month, we're going to set an intention statement in terms of freedom, expansion, learning new things, and gratitude. So let's begin. Write down five things that you are currently aware of being so very grateful for that allow you freedom and expansion and possibly learning new things. So write down five of those things that you're aware of right now and feel the gratitude that you have those in your life right now. Okay, put me on pause and then come back. Okay, so now that you've got those list of five items, now let's take it down a little deeper and think about five, three to five things that are not quite here yet, but they're in your periphery of awareness. They might be coming in right now for you in the very near future. Things that you could be grateful for you could have a little more of that in terms of freedom and expansion, learning new things. So write those down, three to five things, put me on pause, come back and I'll have one more item on your list. Okay, so for the third item on your list for setting your new intention statement is perhaps as you think of the new year, because here we are in the at the end of November and we only have one more month. And before you know it, a whole new year will be upon us. The new year always brings hope, you know, as does the new moon. So kind of glance over, think about your new year coming up. Think about it in those terms of the next six to 12 months. If you could have anything in terms of freedom, expansion, and learning new things, what would you be so very grateful for if you could have that? Think about maybe one, two, maybe three items at the most. Because it might be hard to even think of one at this point <laughs> when you're trying to look forward that far. Okay, put me on pause and do that. And come on back and I'll help you do a summary and figure out your intention statement, okay? Thanks. Now that you've got your three lists here, of possibly, you know, this potential for maybe 10 to 15 items on your list that you could be grateful for, for more freedom, expansion, and learning new things in your life for this next month. So go through your list and circle things that are perhaps repetitive or about the same things, themes that you've noticed, all right? 
So go ahead and do that. Let me unpause while you think about that. We're trying to narrow your intention statement down. That's what we're trying to do. So that's your first your first go around. After you've got those things circled, start you know, going deeper into it and hone it down to maybe two or three themes that could be the possibility for an intention statement to focus on during this next month. And then after you get two or three items, narrow it down. Check in with your heart, your intuition, your guides, whatever makes you feel happy about checking in to a higher source for guidance on what would be the one thing that you would be so very grateful for if you could have more freedom, more expansion, or more opportunities for learning something new is in terms of the next month. So that's it. Narrow it down to one item that just would make you so happy, that makes your heart sing, that you could think about and focus on during the next month. So in terms of an intention statement, I have a few rules about intention statement and I'll share two of them. The first one is that you need to be in the in the statement somewhere as I, me, my, something like that. Okay, you need to show up in your own statement. And the other rule, or my rule for an intention statement is you need to have an active verb because this is something that you will be working on co-creating with the universe. You do need to show up in this statement and you're going to have to take action steps. So make it something active. Okay, till next month. I will be doing another one next month. And I'll try to do it like two or three days before the new moon to help you have a few days to think about your intention statement. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and I hope that helped you out. If you want some further, deeper help with it, I am available on an hourly basis. And you can contact me at mary at ignitingyourintentions.com. Check out my website, ignitingyourintentions.com. And you can find me on Facebook, too, Igniting Your Intentions. Good luck.